Okay, hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to go over something real quick because it's kind of come to my attention that um, this is something that I've been lacking in across the board and it's some basic principles that I think are um, tried and true um, and I just wanted to reiterate them in this format so that I could share them with a bunch of different people all at one time. Um, and basically what it is is that you know, we're in a process of trying to do business. We're trying to do business so that we can obtain more wealth. And one of the things we have to think about are some of those basic principles that all go together that make the whole thing come together. And the biggest point of all of this is, number one, we've got to have a plan. Number two, we have to have a plan that has measurements and markers in it. And number three, we have to um, change to meet those measurements, markers, and to continue our plan into the future. So one of the things I'd like to start off and talk about is that when we start to look at the business aspect of things, we have some different components. And one of the first components that we're always going to start off with is that we're going to start off with marketing. Okay? In our business plan, what the marketing aspect is, you know, is this something that's marketable? Do we have a niche market? Do we have something that people want? Are we solving a problem? Okay? Then the next thing that we're going to get involved with here is our product or service. Okay? So next we move into a product or service. Then, after we get into our product or service, that's where we're doing our delivery. And so what's really important here is, is that we do have that niche market, and that we do have something that is viable, that people really want. And then the next thing that we need to do here is we need to measure. Okay? Now we need to measure, you know, did our product or service perform to where we wanted it to perform to? And then lastly, what we're going to do here is we're going to change. Even if we did what we said we were going to do, if we did what we said we wanted to do, we still have to change. We always have to change. And we always have to change because the market's changing. The new products are changing. Our competition is changing. So we always have to go through a product or a process of marketing, providing our product or service, measuring ourselves, and then changing, and then start again. And the biggest thing that comes down, that this whole entire thing is all wrapped around, this has been driving me just absolutely nuts lately, is customer service. Okay, without customer service, none of it's going to work at all. If we can't make the customer happy and provide the customer what they want, how they want it, then no matter how good of a product or service we have, we failed because we didn't have customer service. So, what we need to do is, at this point, we all, for all of our business aspects and everything, we need to sit down and we go, need to go, number one, what is our market? Okay? And number two, all right, so now... Actually, before we move on to number two, what do I mean by that? What is our market? Who are we trying to market to? Okay? And when I go to ask the question of who, I move on to the next one. What problem are we going to solve? Next, is it cost-effective? Okay? Because if it's not cost effective and it's not solving a problem, I'm not going to get anywhere. I don't have a market. So I need to make sure that I know who I'm trying to market to, what problem of theirs I'm solving, and whether or not it's cost effective to know that they can afford it. Okay? So next, after I figure out what my market is, ideally I already had an idea of what my product slash service is. But the thing with this is, is that products and services are dynamic. So often they're changing. And one thing that we need to be careful of, that we need to do, is we need to define it. It needs to be very defined. Very defined. We need to go, my product is blank. Because you've got to remember, if I'm changing my product or service, then I'm modifying step one, which was my market. And if I come down here and all of a sudden say, hey, today, no, we're going to change the way we're doing business. We're going to change what our service is. I have to make sure that I have enough concept to realize that I'm adjusting my market. And so after we do all of this work of marketing, 
and then we come and change our profit and service, we just shot ourselves in the foot. So I'm not saying that we cannot change our products or our services. I'm just saying that we have to be, have conscious awareness of how it affects our overall market. All right, so number three, we need to have measurements. Okay, measurements. And what I mean by measurements is, is I want to know, well, what measurements did I set up? Did I set up to sales numbers? You know, how many products did I sell? How many services did I perform? I have to have some kind of measurements. And all of this is based on time. All right? Biggest thing we got to remember is we don't get yesterday back. Today is today, and we have to do something today that makes us one step forward for tomorrow. Because if we're not doing that, then we're not putting forth the effort that is going to make us wealthy. And when I talk about wealth, I'm not talking about just the amount of money in our bank accounts. I'm talking about the lifestyle. I'm talking about the availability to make ourselves healthy. I'm talking about the availability to have time with family. I'm talking about the whole scope of wealth. Wealth of life. Not just money in a bank account. Because you really need to strive for all of wealth. Because everything has to be in balance. Everything has to come together as a package. If I strive and say, all right, all I'm going to do is have a million dollars in my bank account. I don't care about my health. And I don't care about my family. And I don't care about any of this other stuff. I'm not going to make it. And even if by some random chance I do, I'm not going to be happy once I get there. Nor is it going to last very long for me. So we need to make sure that we're doing measurements against time. Because we don't have a lot of it. And here again, I'm going to reiterate that we have to make sure that every single day we do at least one thing that drives us forward to our goal. Okay? And so, let me talk about that real quick before I move on to the last one of change here. So when I say that we drive, we do something every day to drive forward to our goal, one of the biggest things that we have to remember is, number one, that we have a goal. And what is that goal? And that goal needs to be very defined so we know exactly why we're doing what we're doing and what it's going to mean when we've accomplished our goal. What is the reward? What is the outcome? And these goals need to not just be huge saying, hey, I want to be a millionaire and own a big house. They need to be things as small as, I'm going to get this business off the ground and I'm going to get it cash flowing. And I'm going to do this because. You know, and the, when we do those goals as well, we shouldn't always think of just the I. You need to take into perspective, what is it going to do for you as an individual, but then also, what is it going to do for the people that are supporting you? Because business isn't about you. What was it about? It was about marketing. It's about a product. It's about measuring that, and then it's about change. What's the biggest thing all this has in common? It has in common that we're moving a product or a service that goes to people. So our product or service has to be key that it's helping people. Because those people are helping you. The more of those people that we help, the more we will get helped ourselves by those people. And that's why customer service is the core. So, after we do our measurements that were based on time, then we have to come back and look at change. And this is where we go, did what we plan to do work? If it didn't, why not? How do we change to make it work? How can we make this better? How can we stay ahead of our competition? How can we help people more? How can we improve our products? How do we get to more people through marketing? And so we always have to ask this question. And then after we're done here, we're going to start this cycle over again. The most important part of making all of this happen is goals. And goals are no more than your dreams. They're no more than saying, look, this is what I want to accomplish. This is what I want to reach. That's my goal. Okay? And so when we break things down, I do a lot of it with lists. And I work on having lists. And those lists help me reach my goals that are my accomplishments. And then help me drive forward. Okay? We're constantly up against failure. We're constantly up against competition. And we're constantly, what's quote-unquote seeming like, we're fighting it. All right? 
And one big thing that we always also have to pay attention to is the language that we use. You know, if I say, well, I'm going to always fight it, is that really a good statement? I don't know. It depends. Do you like to fight? If you don't like to fight, don't use those words. Personally, I like a good fight. I like business fight. I like to get involved. I like to get my hands dirty. I like to make it happen. But if you don't like that ideal, then don't do it that way. Say you like a good challenge. Use the words that are going to be positive, that are going to help you drive through it all. All right? So, we need to make sure that we have lists. And we need to break everything out into its own different lists. We need our marketing list. We need a product and service list. We need um, a measurement list. Okay? And then from this, we get our discussion on our change list. And then we start our list over again. Yes, I'm saying you should have lists on how you live every single day. When I sit down at my desk, I make up a list. Who do I need to call today? What do I need to do today? Where do I need to go today? What do I need to process? And I mark those things off my list because if I come back in tomorrow, there's still stuff on my list from yesterday. No big deal. I just do it. And then that way when I come back on Monday over the weekend, and hopefully I got some time off, maybe I took a break, did something with the family, then they're on my list and I'll knock them out right then. But at the same turn, every single item that goes on my list is striving towards my goals. And my goals are no more than lists. So, what I'd like to get everybody to do at this point is start getting the brain tumbling here. And let's think about the list that we can create. And let's think about those business plans. And those business plans, let's break them down to really basic. Let's break them down to what marketing needs to be done, what product or service needs to be done, what are those milestones, measurements, and what kind of timeline are we going to accomplish these things in. And then what we need to do is get together in our teams, and we need to go over those and make sure that everybody is in agreement on it. Okay? You can agree to not agree on things, but you have to be able to come together and work together like a team. If you can't work like a team and you don't have a common finish line, your team's not going to complete a task. Your team will not go together. It will not bond. Your oil and water, and it's just not going to mix. So we need to come together, and we need to make sure that we can agree upon where we're going, what our final goals are, and how we're going to accomplish those. So thank you all for your time, um, and I look forward to getting with everybody soon. Have a good night.